The grid view allows you to see all the threads and posts within a single space. You may want to review the tutorial on the differences between the reading and grid view to learn more. This tutorial is going to show you a number of other items that are found within the grid view. The default grid view is what is shown, but you can actually change the settings to customize your experience. You may want to review the tutorial on the grid on the grid view settings. You should please note that the grid view only works through the via the submission review tab. If you or your students access the topic discussion topic via the course content, the reading view is the default view. So I'm going to click on the Submission Review tab on the nav bar and click on Discussions. I'm going to click on any topic name which will take me into the grid view. You should note that if you haven't turned on the grid view, make sure you review the tutorial on how to turn that on. Now there's a whole set of items that are within this grid view. Uh, there's a set of four buttons at the top. One is to start a new thread. This allows you to start a new thread. So this allows you to put a subject in and put in your, sub, your post. And you can subscribe to the thread if you want, add attachments just like you can normally, and you click post. And now, as you can see, that's the first post up here from that. Uh, the refresh button refreshes the page. Mark all as read. Uh, literally what it says, you'll see any items that are in bold are considered unread. If I want to just go ahead and mark it all as read, I can click yes, and it will mark all the posts as read in there. Under the more actions, I have two items, two choices in here. One is to hide the search. This is uh, will turn off and on this search function in the grid view. So if I hide search, it turns it off. If I show search, it turns it on. The other thing is the subscriptions and you should really watch the tutorial on managing your subscriptions to learn more about that. Underneath the start a new thread button is a subscribe to this topic. So if you click on that you can actually subscribe to the topic and again you may want to review the tutorials on managing your subscriptions. Now across from the link uh, for subscribing is a view uh, drop down list. So the default is a threaded view. A threaded view means that I ha start a thread and when there are posts, so if I click on here and I reply to this post, what this will do is it will be threaded underneath, let me shut this, you'll notice that it's now underneath the beginning of the thread. So that's what a thread view means. I have a few choices here. Unthreaded is all posts and if I click apply this would then let me see all the posts and I wouldn't know which posts are replies and which posts are the start of a thread. Uh, only unread if I go ahead and mark unread here and let's just read that one. So if I now choose unread only and choose apply, it'll be only the ones that are unread there. So that's a quick way to do it. And any ones that are flagged, if I have any that are flagged, it would quickly apply to that also. Now the search box here um, allows you to do a number of things. So what you can do in the search text box is it looks for the subject or the t within the body of the text. So if I type in wrong, for example, and I click on the search icon, what you'll see, it'll give me two results of those two items because that's in the subject of the message. If I clear the search and let's say, let's look at this one and see what it says here. And it says, here's my post. So let's just type in post and so now you see, look here, because in the subject, in the, in, the, in the message of the body, that's there. Again, clear the search to get out of there. Now there are some other search options. If you click the show search options, right now it's only looking in the subject in the post body. I can choose first and last name and let it look under first and last name. I can check box and look for any flagged or unflagged. 
Uh, if I have any average ratings, I can choose a rating and choose it out of whatever I want. I can also do post and, and, and end dates. So this would be any posts that came in, let's say that came in today. And if I do a search for that, it should show me zero results because no post. But let's move it back before the time I'm doing the tutorial. And you'll see that there's two results because of that. Again, let's clear the search and show the search options. And then finally, the post status, whether the post is read or unread. So that's the search options that you have there. Now, above the grid view uh, of the post is a number of items. You'll see mark unread, delete, and print. So this you have to, and a checkbox here. So this selects all of them. So if I want to unselect a few here, and I can now mark these as unread, I would choose that and it would then mark those as unread. So if they were read, it would mark them as unread. If I want to delete any posts, I can checkbox, click delete, and again, you as the faculty member only have the right to see to delete. Printing is kind of nice. If I want to print a thread or a bunch of threads, I can choose the ones I want and click print, and what this will do is it'll compile um, each of those posts into one page, make it in a much nicer printable version. So let's unselect that. Then you also can flag specific posts by just clicking on that. I can also subscribe to specific posts if I want to by clicking on the star icon. Um, all of those items are possible. So those are the other items that are found within the grid view and some of the ways that they work. Oh, I forgot to mention the per, per page. Um, and the per page here, you can only go to, it's 20 by default, you can only go down to 10. Um, so once you get more than 20 posts here, it'll be, it'll be a paging at the bottom.